guys, the humble Southpaw here, where you get a Southpaw's perspective on firearms and EDC gear. Uh, today, in this today's video, we're going to look at the G-Code Paradigm Universal Fit Holster. Uh, this holster comes in two sizes. It comes in a small medium frame, and it also comes in a medium large frame. Uh, the nice features about this, it is fully ambidextrous, so it'll work for both left-handed and right-handed shooters. Um, it is, you will get in the kit, you will get a paddle holster for the outside, nice curvature for the hip. I have not used this one. I've used, uh, been using their IWB holst, uh, setup in this. So you'll also get the clip to do an IWB. Uh, you'll get the hardware for that. So everything goes in there. Uh, another nice feature of this, this is RMR cut ready. Um, so the cutting out, so it'll hold an arm out footprint uh, optic. It will also fit a Delta Pro, and later on you'll see the Delta Pro is going to depend on the footprint of the, the optic, the body of that optic. So I'll show you later on <clears throat> when we go through the uh, medium large. I have a uh, SIG here 320, which I ran into an issue, a couple issues with, and did talk to G Code. So figure that out. So those are the nice things also. Um, it fits over 150 firearms and it does come with a limited lifetime warranty and I just recommend if you do purchase one that you just look at that um, exactly what's required. I know one of the things is that it's not transferable and you must have the receipt for that uh, holster. So okay so here's the small medium one and this one here will fit a Glock 19, a Glock 17, a Glock 43, a 43X. It also come um, the Smith & Wesson MMP Shield Plus. It'll carry the uh, Hellcat series. It'll also configure to the uh, 365 series, so the X, the XL, the Macro. Um, it would also do uh, Canic TP9 series. Uh, I've been carrying this one. I'm not an inside the waistband person, so I've been carrying it as an inside the waistband with my 365 XL. And I'll tell you, it's very comfortable. I'm very happy with it. Um, so very nice setup and all that. So let me show you here. And all these guns that I'm picking up have, are empty. There's no magazines in them. There's no nothing in the chamber. So they have been checked. So here's the 365 XL. And it does have a nice fit. It does cover the trigger guard 100%. And you heard that nice retention click in there. Definitely plenty of room for your optic. This is a Swamp Fox optic. Uh, so very nice. Fits very comfortable. I've been, like I said, I've been carrying it for a couple weeks now. I am not an inside the waist person and I was carrying appendix, very comfortable. So and then here we have, this is the Canic Subcompact. And this too, it'll cover nice, covers the trigger guard 100%. Nice uh, retention click as you're going in there. This does not have an optic on it, but if you see, it does have plenty of room to handle the optic. Um, the Swamp Fox that's on my 365 used to be on this one. So, so that is the nice thing about this one. This is the small medium. Now, the medium large, you get a, it's a little bit different than the small medium because in here you get three preset drill holes. And this will allow you to use their RTI system, uh, the rapid transition interface i think that's what it's called and here this is one of their original uh, paradigms and they made some adjustments they added a retention bushing in there to, to manage the tension of the gun in there <clears throat> so this one is set up and it is set up for a nice left-handed person so here you can add on they have a paddle that has the rti at attachment on it they also have a belt clip that has the RTI retention on it. It also has a vehicle setup that you can use the RTI system. So it's very nice. So 
And honestly, this is a nice advantage for us left-handed because the way it sets up is if I'm using it, I don't know if you can see it, but it'll sits on the retention this way so I can take it off. And if I have the vehicle, it'll automatically be on the center console and it will attach. So I can use this to attach, detach, and put it onto the vehicle. So it's a very nice system. I'm thinking about doing that myself, either for, you know with the medium large, and I think my Canic subcompact will fit in nicely into this medium large. So that is a nice feature that us left-handers get. I think because the other way, it's just not gonna sit properly. So if you're right-handed, you would have to buy another holster and then set up the whole RTI system on that. So those are nice things. I get another thing with the paddle holster. It has different settings. It has, you can do different heights and it also allows you to do a can, a forward and a reverse can. So those are the other things. And like I said, you'll get all the hardware necessary in here. Um, so let me go ahead and just show you a couple guns here. This is the Canik TP9 SF Elite. And this is similar to a Glock 19 size. So just to give you guys a, an idea how that will work. And again, nice retention, nice covering of the trigger guard. And so again, very nice um, system. Definitely like the paddle has a little bit more uh, area. So especially on a heavier gun, it definitely allows you it from not moving around so much. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this will take a Delta Pro, but again, it's gonna depend on the optics footprint. Uh, this is a SIG 320, and I forgot to go through, and I will give you a list of the guns that will fit in this one here. This is a 320, um, and I did call G-Code because it does not fit, truly fit, and as you can see, it doesn't do 100% on the trigger guard. It does fit in there, it does go, it's secure. It's not gonna move and I, you know, you can always fix the tension up here with the bushing. Because on their sh website, they do show a Delta Pro optic on a Glock going into this. So talking to them, we figured out it could be the size of the SIG Pro is a little bit bulkier. Plus this one has the metal shroud on it. Now this is a firearm that I'm borrowing from a friend so I cannot adjust and take things off and play with it. So, but that is a thing. It, and again, it is up to you if that you feel that's fine and you want to use it. Like I said, it's in there good. It's not going to move around. So that is the one thing. If you have a Delta Pro footprint, you know, when you go to your store, local gun store, retail store to buy this, um, you're able to take these out. They have a resealable bag to help with the retail stores to be able to have their customers look at them a little bit better. Um, so the other thing is you're going to purchase, like I said, they went to, they updated their version. So the older versions have no bushing. So they don't have a hole to put the bushing in. So just make sure when you're purchasing that it is the latest version because you definitely want the latest version of that to have that retention bushing in there. So just a heads up on that. Not This is not against G-Code, you just don't know retail's inventory. Are they Do they still have those in their inventory? Do they get rid of, sell them at a discount or whatever? Just make sure that you get the proper version, the latest version with the uh, retention bushing. And that'll be on both the medium large and the small medium. Now concerning the, uh, the medium large, this will fit, like I said, it'll fit the SIG 226, the 320. It'll do the m &P 45, four inch, five inch barrel. I did have, I did try my 1911 Gerson in here. It did fit perfectly fine. Uh, so it does, will fit a 1911 depending on, I guess the model and the version if you want it to use it in this. Again, it will take the Canik TP9 series uh, it will do the Glock 19s, the Glock 17s, the 19X, and any of their other larger models. So definitely this will not do the 43 or the 40, 43 to 43X, the 48. So they will fit. Like I said, it fits over 150. 
Um, I highly recommend these. Um, I was a retail manager for a local gun store and range. And I'll tell you, and we used to carry the G-Code as a midpoint because some of their other holsters are really nice. Our customers love their G, love G-Code. Uh, this is a great holster, universal holster. And, you know, especially if you're a first time gun owner and you need a holster and you don't want to just put a lot of money out on the gun and you need a holster and you're not looking to spend a lot of money right off the bat, great option. But even as, you know, an experienced gun owner and all that, I find this very useful. Um, I'm the only Southpaw in the family, so if I need to reconfigure my guns to, for my wife to utilize or a family member to utilize, this will do it. And I don't have to worry about having 10, you know, two holsters, three holsters, depending on the setup for each gun. So this will save you time and money. So it's definitely a, a great feature. Um, I wish <clears throat> when I was the retail store manager that we, that G-Code had this available because this would have saved my, you know, saved hours and hours of time. Because in our store, we try to look for entry level, a midpoint, and a high end. And G code we had as a midpoint, and then we had other brands that we tried for a entry point. With this one though, being left handed, right handed, and managing 150 guns would have been a great option. So excellent choice. Um, great construction. No, it's not Kydex. It's an injected mold, so polymer on there. So but very sturdy, but it allows for the flexible, where the gun can flex, the holster can flex around the gun and then retain its uh, its shape. So definitely a good choice. Um, I highly recommend that, guys. So uh, if you like this video and you want to see more, give it a thumbs up. Please uh, subscribe. And guys, have a good one. Be safe. Thank you.